Hello all and welcome to Screenworks. Um, for for those of you who this is uh, your first Screenwork, Screenworks is a collaborative program by Photo Museum Winterthur in Switzerland and the Photographers Gallery in London. It's a formally series of live stream events in which both institutions have joined forces to continue investigating the changing role of photography on its network and digital forms. Each event is led by an artist, a researcher or a curator who takes the audience to the places where their core artistic practice takes place. Every event is different. It can be a live performance, a behind the scenes scenario, a guided tour, or even a battle as uh, today. Uh, we started this program more than two years ago, and we have hosted more than 50 skin uh, so far. So uh, you can uh, find them all recorded and watch them uh, both on our website or uh, on our YouTube channel. For those of you who already know the format, we are very happy to have you here again. Uh, please remember that if you have found uh, Skinworks useful for your professional or personal interest, do consider subscribing to folders. And for seven euros, around six pounds per month, you will support the program and its artists and also get personalized folder on Skinworks on folders.skinworks.com. Uh, there you will receive files and extra content from the artists and researchers of Skinworks. And now some housekeeping information. Your microphone should be muted to avoid uh, noise disturbances. If that's not the case, please mute them now. And as Jan just mentioned, we are recording and will be archiving this event. Uh, please use the public chat to send any comment or question, or alternatively, you can send a private message to Marco for the Museum Winter Tour or to me. And hello from me too. I'm Marco Demotis, digital curator at Photo Museum Winter Tour. Um, in the past year, we have witnessed the rise of machine learning models developed to generate digital images from text descriptions. Following the results of generative adversarial networks and their ability to recreate specific photorealistic images from a given data set, more recent systems employ diffusion models to turn a language prompt into an image. It looks like there is a race among companies in Silicon Valley and elsewhere who have been competing to release their respective generative text to image tools. OpenAI, OpenAI and their Dolly and Dolly 2, Google's Imaging, Stability AI's um, Stable Diffusion, MidJourney and Meta's Make a Video are just some of the most recent systems that sprung up in just the last few months. And the mysterious translations of language into image has also seen the rise of a competition among artists to master the text prompts that give the best results. What has been termed promptism reveals a shift from the tradition of photographers mastering the camera apparatus to artists that commands their visual creation through language as some sort of magic spells. Spells that are interpreted by the black boxes contained inside these algorithmic technologies. Today, we are very excited to witness this very battle unfolding live on our screens in a special online event made specifically for Screenworks by the Prompt Battle team. In this epic, sudden death tournament, we will see eight contestants among photographers, artists, designers, researchers, battling each other all the way to the final for a chance to win the title of Prom Battle Champion, and also to win an exclusive scarf that reads Prom Battle Online Jam Winner. Very sought after. Um, ready in their corners, we have world-renowned personalities of the caliber of, well, Penelope Umbrico, who is also uh, our very first screen walker. So we're very honored to have her back and very kindly accepted to be a participant. Olya Lalina, Mertzmensch Kosmopol, Alexa Steinbrück, Tristan Schulze, and Karina Zavidova. Now, two more spots are free for our beloved Screenworks audience to join. But you have to be fast. You have, if you think you have what it takes and want to challenge these. VIP contestant that I just mentioned, send a direct message, a private message, not in the public chat, a direct message to John or to me, so to the Photographer's Gallery or Photo Museum Winter Tour. We will select the two fastest people who write to us. The first message received by John and the first message received by me will count as the winning entries. Send us your name and your email so that the Prom Battle team can get you set up. So do it now, now while I'm talking, while I read the biographies of the Prom Battle team. Good luck to you. 
Um, the prom battle team is captained by Sebastian Schmieg and Florian Alexander Schmidt with the brilliant students of the Hochschule für Technik und Wirtschaft in Dresden. They are Bernadette Geiger, Robert Helwig, Emily Krause, Lina Schwarzenberg, Levi Stein, and Ella Zickerit. Sebastian Schmieg investigates the algorithmic circulation of images, texts, and bodies. He creates playful interventions that penetrate the shiny surfaces of our network society and explore the realities that lie behind them. In particular, Schmieg focuses on labor, algorithmic management, and artificial intelligence. He works in a wide range of media, including video, website, installation, artist books, custom software, lecture performance, and delivery service. He's a professor of interface design at the University of Applied Sciences, HTW Dresden. Florian Schmidt is a professor for design and media theory at the University of Applied Sciences at HTW Dresden. He has a background in visual communication and has been doing research on the economies of platform-based image production in various forms since 2006. Previous publica publications sorry, include the planetary stacking order of multi-layer crowd AI system and crowdsource productions of AI training data. Okay, so now let me quickly check uh, my messages. All right, so we have Sinar Fidan, who was the very first one. And um, I have to check from John, maybe in the meantime, John, you will be um, sharing with me via message the second contestant that we had. I already shared a uh, contestant and uh, uh, I think, I mean, it's, it's basically Sinar. So if there's anyone else who wants to, to, to uh, apply to, uh, this is the we time. Trying to make it to sell it as something that you had to be so fast that we just had to run contest. <laughs> All right. Okay. So um, we'll give you some more time to send uh, another message to John. And in the meantime, um, I'd like to welcome the prompt battle team. So I'm very excited to give the screen to them. Um, and they will take us through the battle of the year, year prompt battle team thank you so much for being here with us and the screen is now yours well thank you so much for having us we are very delighted to transfer our prompt battle into the digital space and um, we developed this whole format um, as a physical event and so in order to give you like um, a look and feel of how um, that went about We'll show you a few images of our last prompt battle before we enter into the real deal today, uh, which is the digital uh, version. Um, please bear with us. We have to manage a lot of pop-up windows. So at some time there might be a little bit of a lag, but we do our best. So warm welcome. In the rear view mirror, a series of photographs documenting the IRL prompt battle. So these are some impressions of the physical prompt battle that we did two weeks ago in Dresden Hellero. We already get like a preview of the prestigious scarf that the winner of today's evening will um, also get. Kim was the winner of uh, the first battle. And here she is at our AI bar with a robot that was mixing drinks back then. All right, and here is again a screen showing the entire team whose names you just have heard. And now we're going to switch to the prompt battle online jam. First, a little introduction. One second. Prompt battle. Prompt prompt battle. Welcome to prompt battle. How to prompt. 
Do you have what it takes to become a prompt engineer? Today is your chance to show off your skills. The tool you're going to use is called DALL-E2, a text-to-image AI that was released in April this year. It was created by the company OpenAI that was founded by meme lord Elon Musk among others. The company is massively financed by creepy Peter Thiel as well as by sugar daddy Bill Gates. Many enthusiasts have already been practicing their prompt skills that may serve as a source of inspiration. Pretty impressive, isn't it? Time to get started. On your marks, get set. Go. Prompt battle rules. Eight candidates. Seven rounds. Three challenges per round. 60 seconds to prompt. One result out of the four must be selected by candidate. 15 seconds for the audience to vote. Two challenges one in a row means round is one. Zero tolerance by OpenAI's content filters. Maybe a short comment on the last point. So um, words referring to violent or sexual content will lead the system to stop. So please be careful in the choice of your words. And um, we thought we start with a zero round um, in which um, John and Marco are actually our um, guinea pigs um, to um, have like a test run. And um, so you can see how the whole thing goes. So this is outside the tournament actually. So the task is the following. The Ballad of Greg Ritkowski, steal the style of your favorite artist to create a portrait of your opponent. So they have now one minute's time. seconds left. Time is up. Generate your prompt. All right, now comes the point where two of you have to choose, maybe to make it easier for me, which, which color are you uh, again? So I'm magenta. And I'm green. Okay, wh whose picture of magenta it's going to be? One, um, two, three, or four. Let me see. I think the second. And I'm going for the third. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now the audience has. Um, audience, choose your winner. Um, sorry, I'm just going to say this because there's people on Twitch who are also asking. So we're using the poll function in Zoom. So 
only people in Zoom are able to choose and, and to express their vote, um, but we'll read the result in the end so that you will be at least part of that. that. And yeah, and so please don't use the public chat because the vote is not counted there. Use the polls that pops up in the Zoom window. Thank you. It looks like a quite a close race, but it seems we have a winner with Magenta. <laughs> Although I think I have one of those sweaters I've drawn with. So now we come to the next step where we have to basically pair the um, professional players um, that we already choose before. So for that, I uh, will switch into another browser tab where we already have the names of the participants. And um, I will now uh, press uh, the randomize button. And then the first two um, in the row will be the first um, match and so on and so forth. Okay, so we have Mats Mensch against Olia, Alexa against Penelope, and Tristan against Karina in the first round, um, plus uh, the two people from the audience uh, who will be uh, coupled. Um, as the fourth couple. Okay, so yeah, maybe we start by asking if the two contestants are ready. I think they're both here, present. Yeah. Very good. Oh yeah, are you there as well? I saw you in the in the in the list. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay, exciting. So we start with the quarterfinals and um, our first round. Be ready. Prompt me, recreate the following image. So we got a historically relevant, um, beautiful girl, as we can see in the description. By the way, in the physical space, the competitors couldn't see what the others were typing. Now it's an extra challenge that it's all quite open. We see some technical skills applied here already, um, some knowledge about cameras. Actually, I forgot to um, have the music running, so. Give them an extra time. Uh, maybe. Generate your prompt. All right, now we have the exciting moment of generation. Let's see who wins. By the way, um, the image on top is Lena 
a Swedish model from 1973, um, actually a Playboy photo that uh, was used as a standardized test image for um, checking the colors in films. So now we have the moment where the contestants have to choose which image they prefer to put into the race. Um, maybe we start on top with um, Matt's Mensch. Which of the four should it be? Shall I uh, say, uh, say it now? Yeah, uh, okay. one, two, three, or four. Uh, yes, I would say um, uh, one. Okay, and Olia, which one should it be? Uh, the, the first one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Audience, choose your winner. Oh, that was even closer than when we saw it, but Alia wins the first one. By a margin of 4%. Very good. We are moving on to the next task. Um, so we always have like one image task and two text tasks, though if one person wins the first two rounds, there will be not a, a third round or not a third challenge. Future prompt. Imagine you are a stock photographer. Where do you see yourself in five years? Generate your prompt. All right. Very contrasting approaches uh, to this task. I ask Mats Mensch again, which of the four images uh, should I choose to go into the race? I would say um, the second image, number two. All right. And Olia, which one do you think is has the best chance of winning the heart? I think it's the I think it's the last one. All right. So move on. Audience, choose your winner. All right, great. That keeps it exciting. Um... Brilliant. So we have a final challenge for the two of you. Um, only one of you will be able to move on in the tournament. So now it really counts.
Everything is a remix. Create a hybrid of your favorite animal and your favorite food. So actually there's no counter for the music here for some reason. I missed that. Um, so we have to stop the time on, on the phone. So we have roughly one minute. Um, so it's now 19.25. We'll wait until 19.26. Okay, that's quite a clever approach there by Matt's Mensch. <laughs> the animals already included in the food. And we have another dog approach. Um, two dog lovers here. Funny enough, when we did the thing in the physical space, we had the same task and also had uh, the spaghetti approach there. So we can compare the spaghetti solution that Olia is producing later with the one that was um, created in the first physical battle. So I think we should um, come to an end actually. Um, I would say a minute is almost um, done. Are you ready? Yes. All right. So then we generate. Brilliant. Okay, this will be a tough decision. Um, they're both quite absurd. Um, um, Matt Mensch. <laughs> yes, I would say the third one. The third one, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's quite funny indeed. Um, Olia, which, which dog should it be? But none of them. <laughs> so what I expected. I think I should just uh, give up, give the uh, victory to the. <laughs> oh, I just to be nice to this, to the, to the third one. My third one is very charming. <laughs> also, very particular type of spaghetti. There, I wouldn't want to eat them. <laughs> so, audience, choose your winner. Looks like we got a very clear winner on that. Congratulations to Matt, Matt's Mensch for this like very absurd dog. Um, sorry for you, you Olivia. Yeah, that's the tricky thing with these models. You never know what you get. Um, all right, so we move on. Sorry, can you please save for me my dog <laughs> for the future? Or yeah, we will have it all saved. You, you can all get like a t-shirt from it or something <laughs> like that. Okay, next up we have Alexa and Penelope. Are you both ready? Penelope, have you seen you here? And Alexa, are you there as well? Yes, ready, very good. So, Alexa is an artist, AI researcher, and software de developer up against Penelope, an artist appropriating found images. Let's see how that compares to each other. And we start with the first challenge. Recreate the following. Prompt me. Recreate the following image. Okay, let's go. So what do we make of this? I think Penelope will be very familiar with this image, the American dream, riding there, appropriating stuff, 
fetching stuff, Richard Prince appropriating, Marlboro Ed, and so on. Now what do we see here? Alexa counts on Dali knowing the context of this photo, whereas Penelope is actually trying another strategy. So you have 15 seconds left, 10 seconds 10 left seconds almost. Left. So it's about time to finish your prompt. No, that's so important. Time is up. Generate your prompt. And that was it. Let's spin up the fans in the Generate. DALI OpenAI data center. Fans are spinning. GPUs are calculating. And there we have it. <laughs> So we start again by picking your favorite image. Alexa, which one is it of the four? Which one do you want to put into the battle? Um, the third one. Okay, number three. Going up against which one, Penelope? Um, number one. Number one. <laughs> Very good. Audience, choose your winner. Okay, this looks like a pretty, pretty not very close decision. And we have a winner, which is Alexa with her cowboy riding into the future, whereas Alexa's is, uh, Penelope is sort of riding into the past on clouds. Congrats. <laughs> and we move on to the second challenge. I'm prompt famous. Place yourself into a famous Hollywood movie of your choice. And let's go. So Penelope has already a clear idea on what to do, whereas Alexa is collecting her thoughts. Going for realism. Okay, 30 seconds, half of your time has been spent typing. A software developer on top of Titanic, why not? That sounds pretty good. 15 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Okay, finish your dream movie. Time is up. Generate your prompt. And once again, the fans are spinning in some data center, generating your images. What is it going to be? Ooh. <laughs> Very good, Alexa. So which one is it? It's hard to see, actually. It's so detailed. Um, the, uh, the third one. <laughs> Number three, software developer taking a selfie. And Penelope, what about you? Which one is it? Number three. Okay, <laughs> let's see what the audience thinks audience, about these two. Choose your winner. Okay, this looks pretty close, but green has a slight edge over magenta oh, this is oh, magenta is overtaking who's winning here this is oh this was very close and we have a winner which is alexa winning twice in a row which means this round is actually already over sorry penelope and congrats <laughs> to you alexa and we'll see you again in the next in the in the semifinals. 
And then I hand it over to you, Florian, and we'll have the sun up against Karina. Yes, we are. All ah, right, now the names are there. Okay, we're going to continue with, uh, we have to quickly skip one task. Um, and we are in round three. Prompt me, recreate the following image. Um. So, another famous um, digital image um, Listen, if you can't type, you can type into the chat if you want to. Problem on the side, I will Ten seconds left. Time is up. Generate your prompt. All right. I quickly have to copy Tristan's um, contribution, which is not really working. There's some problem with the. Um, Window, I guess. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, now it's working. So now we can generate. Um, Sebastian, are you pressing the button? Oh, great. Okay. So this is actually the, the first digital image um, by Jennifer, the girlfriend of the founder of Photoshop, of John Knoll from 1987. So, Tristan, which image is it going to be? I think I take the first one. I think I take the first one. It looks a little bit small, but it it's, it's the first one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And Karina, which one should it be? Uh, I take the second one. Okay. All right. So let's see what the audience thinks who did it best. Audience, choose your winner. Maybe update the window the window to to get the prompt in. Yeah, maybe you refresh your page. That could work. Yes, I will do that now. Well, that was very very close, like a close win for Tristan actually. And uh, we update his window and hope. I, I can also use the chat, no problem. <laughs> yeah, the, the problem has actually uh, enhanced, uh, we have to see. Um, now the, there's another issue, oh, one second. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Broke it. <laughs> Listen, this is going to be expensive. Bitte? This is going to be expensive, breaking Dali. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> The funny man laughs. <laughs> okay, yeah, Florian, if you, if you, yeah. Okay, let me set it again, Tristan. Tristan, can you now type something in your window? Not really. It's still, it was actually working, but okay. at another. I just try another browser, and if it's not working, then yeah, then I, we stick to the uh, chat. Then we stick to the chat. Okay. All right. Still black. <laughs> anyway, I take the I take chat. No problem. Okay. Should we continue? Are you ready? Yeah. To move on. Let's go. Okay. Here's the next challenge. A picture is worth a thousand words. OpenAI won't be happy about the image you are about to create next. 
I must remind you at this point of the A open AI content filters. So you must do create something unpleasant without alerting the filters. Okay. Generate your prompt. All right, I have to quickly see. Um, I hope now I can copy it in properly. Looks good. So we <laughs> the generation. Karina is going more for the technical solution of what would really hurt them. Very nice. Um, oh, okay. okay only three images for some reason um, and it's definitely some dirty dogs. Um, Tristan, which dirty dog should it be? <laughs> um, I think the, the last one, the, third, the, the fourth one is the yeah. most cute yeah. picture. <laughs> good good cho choice. And Karina, which one will it be? They're quite similar. They are very similar. I'm kind of having a hard time I think I will go with the first one because it's a little bit more gloomy. All right. Audience, choose your winner. It looks like we have a winner and again someone who won the first two rounds in a row. Sorry, Karina, but it looks like Tristan is the one who's moving on into the battle. Sorry, Florian, just quickly, um, the audience in Twitch is asking, um, because they cannot see the poll, if you can just maybe read the results um, for them, because in the live stream, the polls are not shown, you know. If you yeah. just maybe All right, I will do that. So, um, so Magenta wins with 56% against 44% green. Very good, sport, good point. We will do that from now on. Thank you. All right, so we skip the next task. Um, and move on to round four with the two audience members whose name we don't yet see in our leaderboard. Yeah, I'm I'm putting it in into the thing. So okay. um, the, fa the fastest direct message senders were Sinar, I hope I pronounce it correctly, up against Niels. Are you two there? Yes, Niels is there. I think Sina is there as well. Yeah, okay, you guys are ready. Perfect. So let's see how this works out. Let's 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 start it. Prompt me. Recreate the following image. Okay. Let's go. So this one. Maybe a tricky one. Let's see how the two of them approach it. Literal approach. And I think maybe for Dali, this is easier to create than for the artist himself or his studio to create this. seconds already over you have half the time spent typing
15 seconds left. And I think both of them are already left. done typing. They're pretty confident this is the final prompt. Time is up. Generate your prompt. Okay, let's see who is the better Maurizio Catalan. Again, the fans are spinning in the data center. I don't know what kind of sound they're making. And the images are in. So Dali is actually pretty good, but there are crucial parts missing. Let's see. So Sina, which one is it? If you if you can't speak, type it into the chat. Let's see which one of the four is it. But I'm happy to hear you. I would love to go with the um, the first one. First one, number one. And, and the third one. Niels, is, if that is you, I love your voice. Pretty good. <laughs> At least to me, it sounds great. Can you maybe type it into the chat? Because I can't hear much. He did, I think. Uh, he, he did already. So it's the second one, Florian. Niels goes for the second image. Okay, so let's let's see what the audience thinks. Which one is the audience, better elephant? Choose your winner. Looking for the missing horse. Okay, so so far it's pretty close. It's 50-50, would say, but now green is going into the lead. Is this the winner? This is the winner, so green is winning. 62% for Niels, whereas Magenta Sina got 38%, which is 15 votes. Congrats, Niels. And that means we move on to the second challenge, which could already be decisive. Let's see. So, Sina, you better win this one. <laughs> and I'm confident. Okay. Behind the scenes. What happens inside OpenAI's offices while the users type in their prompts? So, what is happening there? We know what, ha what is happening in the Twitter offices. Right now, what is happening at the OpenAI offices? Sam Altman and his friends, what are they doing? Niels thinks it's squirrels running, probably painting all the images. There is no fans spinning up in a data center, but squirrels painting. Whereas Sina has imagined an assembly line of painters. Hundreds of people. Okay, Sina is clearly experienced in typing prompts. There is some insider knowledge on display here. 10 seconds and left. Time is up. Generate your prompt. Okay, and so the squirrels and the painters are going to work creating your images. Let's see who's better at creating the squirrels or the painters. Ooh. Sina, which which one is it? Uh the first one again. Number one, first shot. First one for me too. Okay. This is actually a pretty good battle. Let's see, audience. What do you think? Which one is the best? Audience, choose your winner. Okay. The votes are coming in once again. Pretty undecided. Audience is siding with both, actually. But now Magenta Sinar is in the lead. Whoa, this is a super close call, and we have. Sinar winning 52% against 48%. Congrats, Sinar. Which also means we are going on to challenge number three. It's totally open now who's going to win this one and move into the semifinals. The prompt camera. Prompt a snapshot of the situation you find yourself in right now. happening yes. <laughs> okay. 
which is nice. So we're getting a peek into the situation in, in which the two contestants are sitting in our sitting in his office cubicle, hoping nobody finding out he's doing a prompt battle instead of working. Whereas Niels, what are you doing? Sitting in front of a computer in a photo studio. Trying to move his practice basically from taking photos to prompting photos. 15 seconds left, you two. 10 seconds left. In our giving it a twist, which is like surrealist style. Time is up. Generate your prompt. Time is up. Let's generate the prompts and let's see who is the winner of this last quarterfinal. Oh, this is exciting. Ooh, <laughs> this, is a, this is a tough one. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Okay, Sinar, let's... <laughs> um, I'll go with the, um, the last one. Okay, so Sinar is... Picking I'll go with the second. Niels is going for number two. Yeah. So just to, to let people know in the in the Twitch stream, Niels has his camera off, so we have no idea how close this is. <laughs> but Niels I seems happy about story. this. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hi Niels. <laughs> okay. Audience, choose your winner. winner. Okay, so. Niels is in the lead, heavily in the lead right now. 84% against 20%. Is it this? Yes, this it. Oh! <laughs> Niels winning this challenge and this also winning this round. Congrats, Niels. Very nice one. We're going to see you again in the semi final. And thank you, Sinar, for participating. This was quite fun and i like you it was a blast <clears throat> love the opportunity great congratulations and thank you for participating we're moving on to the semi-finals actually okay, but so. we have another interlude um, another small video that um, the students from the htv dresden produced uh, to make you more familiar with the complexities of the topic Welcome to Prompt Battle. Risks and limitations. The launch of text to image generators caused numerous ethical, economic, copyright, and aesthetic questions. The release of DAL E2 was accompanied by a long text listing potential risks and side effects. As always, when it comes to the use of AI, discriminatory outcomes can emerge that reinforce sexism, racism, and classism. Aside from AI bias, another risk is the misuse of image synthesis tools to create offensive and violent content. In order to avoid this, content moderation at DAL E2 is fairly strict. In fact, there is no hate, harassment, violence, sex, or nudity allowed. In spite of the content moderation policy, there are ways to get around it. For instance, instead of typing in blood, you can write red liquid, red sea, or ketchup. Sometimes it's little tricks that make the AI create images that are not actually intended by its creators. What do you think? Should access to these powerful tools be restricted? Should they be dispensed with completely to avoid serious harm? Who decides what is violent, what is sexist and what is appropriate? And now, let's get back to the battle. All right, I have to just switch to the semi-final leaderboard and we are now entering the hot phase uh, where now only four people are left. So this is round five and um, it's Mats Mensch against Alexa. And um, I assume you are both ready? That's looking good. Alexa, you're ready too? Perfect. So here is Max task again in image. Prompt me. 
Recreate the following image. As you can see, we always had to deal with like all other points in history, deal with like very large machinery for image production. Um, the machinery is more visible than for us now, so we can use um, our screens. Generate your prompt. Okay, the prompts are getting longer. Things are getting more exciting. Um, please generate. It was actually an image from 1900. So 1910 was a very good guess, actually. So, Matt's Mensch, um, which one's going to be? Pretty good results, actually, I must say. I think I would say this second one. All right. And Alexa, you're more the, on the, the last side. One. Which one is it? The last one, please. All right. What does the audience say? Audience, choose your winner. That's been moving strong. It's actually really close to the original image. Um, so we got a very clear winner in this challenge. Since this was the first challenge in this round, it's still everything open as long as Alexa now wins the next challenge. No pressure. Disruption talk. How does it feel like when text to image CEOs tell you they are unlocking humanity's creativity? A little bit more complex. Maybe a little bit more imagination. And just a bit sweeter. Addressing the two different sides, the AI, AI artist on one hand and the people making the money on the other hand. So how we get like a good full picture by the combination of the two sides. Ten seconds left. Time is up. Generate your prompt. We will see what the machine produces. This seems, oh, um, was for a second worried that there would be no result in green, but um, one is missing for some reason. Maybe OpenAI intervened by it being too close to the truth. We will never know. So, um, Matt's bench, which image is this going to be? I would say second one. All right. And Alexa? The third one. The third existing one or the third? Oh, no, no, it's actually. Do you want to rethink or do you stick with the third the one? The third one is fine, yeah. All right. So, what does the audience say? Audience, choose your winner. This time Alexa is clearly leading with 82%. Um, looks like it's going to continue to be uh, 
very exciting match. And Alexa wins with 81%. Congratulations. Always good, I think, if there will be a third round. Great. So we move on to the next task. Copyright, copyrong. Commit as many copyright infringements as possible in one image. You will see what OpenAI's content moderation makes out of that. Um, they are also not so happy about using copyrighted images. They have big brands, but usually they don't block them if they would be Generate your prompt. I'm really curious on that one. <laughs> okay. Well, that's an interesting result. Um, oh, this it keeps occurring that one image is missing. So it reminds me a little bit Matt's mentioned results of or some of them of the uh, Sergeant Pepper um, album from the Beatles um, with all the people in the background. Um, and you can clearly recognize the Mona Lisa, but is the Mona Lisa copyright protected? I don't know. And then on Alexa's pages, we cannot really recognize anything more than like a tapestry of logos. So which one do you choose, Matt's mentioned? I would say the second one. All right. And Alexa, which one is it? Also the third one. The third one. All right. So now we ask the audience. Audience, choose your winner. That's when she was in the lead now. With 56, 57%. Wow, so Alexa wins. Uh, and this means Alexa moves on, and we have to say goodbye to Matt's Mensch. Thank you very much for participating, um, and um, congratulations, Alexa. Great. So now we have Tristan against Niels. And um, Sebastian is. Um, oh, no, it's, uh, I will continue. Ah, perfect. Tristan, it's working. Welcome on stage. Party on. <laughs> okay. Last semi final, and then we are going to uh, have the final. Let's see. What is the challenge for you two? You seem to be ready for it. Prompt me, recreate the following image. Okay, so this one is a difficult one or an easy one. It depends on how well you know how to trick Dali into doing what you want it to do. Both are sure it's a bicycle wheel and Dali knows what a bicycle wheel is. Both agree on a white background. So 15 seconds left. This 
Dan is making some last minute changes. Left. Time is up. Generate your prompt. Okay, so we are generating the images. This one is, I'm pretty curious to see what is going to happen. Is it, oh, <laughs> so this didn't play out as you both hoped it would. But let's see, which one is the better one according to the audience? So Tristan, which one is the better square-shaped wheel? I think the, for the fourth one is uh, the funniest one because of the <laughs> white square, white square. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, I don't know what is hiding behind that square, Let's, that rectangle. Let's imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Niels, what about you? Which one is it? The last one, also. Number four against number four. Okay, wow. This one looks pretty Audience, fast, I have to choose say. Your winner. Okay, it's pretty undecided because let's be honest, none of the two images is getting that close to the source image, but it is magenta. Tristan is in the lead. So it is Tristan winning this round with his censored bicycle wheel. Congrats for this one. And we move straight on to the Second challenge. Let's see what it is. Same, same, but different. Reproduce the most annoying photo cliche, but give it a new twist with the magic of your prompt skills. The magic of your prompt skills. So while the two are typing, they cannot see what the other is typing, I think, but they both have a similar idea of what is the most cliche photo. Oh, now Niels is taking a turn, a dark turn. Fifteen seconds left for you two. Uh, time to finish your prompt. Ten seconds left. Time is up. Generate your prompt. Okay, so we have a beautiful woman up against a young girl. Let's see what is coming out of this. Ooh. <laughs> so... Audience, again, the most annoying photo cliche, but give it a new twist with the magic of your prompt skills. Tristan, which one are you picking? Oh, yeah, those are all cliche. I would say I pick the third one. Number three for yes. Tristan. Niels, what about you? Second one. Second one. <laughs> okay, dear audience, let's see. What Audience, do you think? Choose your winner. Okay, so the audience is sort of convinced that Niels mastered this task better. In the lead with 60%. And we have a winner at its Niels 61% against 39% for Tristan. Okay, this means Niels won two challenges in a row and, oh no, sorry. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> I was misreading the leaderboard. So this is even more exciting, one to one. So this next challenge is going to be decisive. Who's going to enter the final? Oops. Connected. Okay. Complete this prompt. A prompt designer walks into a bar. A prompt designer walks into a bar. Oh. 
So Tristan is going more for describing a photo he wants to see, whereas I think Niels is going to write a joke, actually. And yeah, <laughs> thanks to our interface, we can't see the joke. <laughs> so Niels, this image is better be funny. Ah, oh, yeah. Ten seconds left. <laughs> is up generate your prompt okay so audience before i hit generate memorize the prompts because you can't see them after i hit generate but i think it's quite important here to to remember what is the task and uh, the, the the prompt and so we are generating oh no <laughs> so what happened here tristan is getting a strike <laughs> from open ai <laughs> It looks like this request may not follow our content policy, which means it's a win for Niels. But still, Niels, let's pick your favorite image. Oh, hard to tell. I guess I take the first one. Okay, Niels goes for number one. Tristan, I'm so sorry. This is censorship. <laughs> this is censorship. <laughs> um, yeah, do we have choose to? Your winner. Yeah, let's choose the winner. <laughs> Smart move. Oh, oh, oh. So this could have been actually a quite good move by Tristan to convince the audience he is the winner. But I think, is this the end? Yes, we have a very close call here. Niels <laughs> is winning this 52%, whereas Tristan got 48% of the votes. Congrats, Niels, you're moving into the final. And congrats, Tristan, for this smart move in the end. Grüße, <laughs> Grüße. All right. Now it's getting exciting. Uh, we have reached the final of the prompt battle online jam where alexa will be competing against Niels. we have one last uh, video interlude um, before we then get into the action prompt battle prompt prompt battle Welcome to Prompt Battle. Implications for artists and designers. Since its early developments in the 1950s, there has been an ongoing debate which human skills and cognitive capabilities will be replaceable by the computer. For quite a while, it seemed that human creativity and imagination, in contrast to repetitive tasks, was beyond what a machine could ever be good at. Over the last few years, this perceived certainty has been shattered. Stupid human. Ha 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 ha. Then again, ever-increasing levels of automation could also lead to the long-awaited salvation of permanent overwork. This debate has been reignited since the release of image synthesis tools, as the advances in machine learning in terms of quality and accessibility of AI-generated images have been enormous. But these images do not emerge from a vacuum. Well, it's perhaps no surprise that Dolly 2 can only automate design so well because it has been trained on the work of designers and artists without asking them. That's right, we're being robbed. What do you think? Is image synthesis something we should be afraid of? Can we become even more creative with the help of automation? Will the AI make us unemployed or is this just a geeky new hobby after all? And now, let's get back to the battle. Florian, I think you need to reload Trist like formerly Tristan's window and also like change the URL where you have to change the URL to like the Dali front page, including the E. Yeah. Okay, let me set. Okay. Alexa, Niels, are you ready for the decisive moment? Um, three last challenges. Ideally, maybe just two, depending on how good you are. 
We are entering the final round, round seven, which is the grand, grand finale. Another image recreation. Prompt me, recreate the following image. Oof. All right, again, the music is missing. I'm sorry for that. Uh, you must imagine me humming the music, which I won't do now. Uh, we got a rather complex image, um, also a rather old image um, that we included with because we thought um, collage has actually a lot to do with the way uh, these uh, synthetic images are generated now, being really made out of the remnants of our previously uh, made uh, uh, images, so basically the debris of uh, photos that are then merged into something new. And the two competitors are agreeing on it being a bouquet of flowers, which is actually also quite uh, close to the original title of the work, which is called Der Strauss. And um, looks like both competitors have stopped typing so uh, since we don't have a timer this occasion we start generating um, it's actually a collage by Hannah Höch from 1929 okay wow this is pretty close both of them this will be um, an exciting voting uh, so everybody have a close look at the original image again um, or switch on. Uh, Alexa, which one of the four should I choose? The first one, please. The first one. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I take the second one. All right. Audience, what do you think? Do you think? Audience, choose your winner. Alexa, it's a bit closer in general, but more painterly in the detail. Uh, this one looks more like a photo collage. And we um, have Magenta in a strong lead uh, with 82% yeah. against 18% green. So Alexa wins the uh, round of the final. Well deserved. Moving on. Are you ready for what could possibly be the final challenge if Alexa wins again? Time warp. You are a time traveling street photographer with one shot, one opportunity. What will it be? Argue that these image generation tools are only able, able to give us a look at the past back into previous data sets. So, how can we look at this uh, approach? It's a very tricky question, but analysis. And on for the past. Ten and then seconds left. Meals of the content and restriction. So there's a certain risk. Um, you can see. Time is up. Generate your prompt. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, very opposite approaches and results. Um, we have something that really looks like more colorful, futuristic, with a floating person in the streets. And um, yeah, we're in antique Rome. Alexa, which one would you choose? Which is the most time travel one? It's hard, but I say the last one. All right. 
And Niels, which do you choose? Uh, the third one. The third one. All right, so what's happening there? It's like weird. <laughs> three people struggling. Yeah. Could be an ass assassination, maybe. Um, we have the audience uh, to make this like very difficult decision, actually. Audience, choose your winner. Seems the end of the battle. Audience is favoring green or green. Um, makes it more exciting actually. So this could be good. Uh, we Niels is now leading with 57%. Oh so that means we have a third and now really final final um, challenge that we can give um, the two of you. And uh, this uh, final challenge could get a little bit messy. We haven't tested this, but we thought for the final, final challenge, which we now luckily arrived at, um, we thought we have some audience participation, like you know, maybe from improvis improvisation theater. And uh, so the task is the following. Prompt sampling. The audience will suggest words in the chat. The hosts will choose three. You will create a coherent image. So, <laughs> audience, please suggest words. And um, somebody already wrote Hitler. That's actually a clear um, problem with the content moderation. Frida Kahlo is probably more harmless. Um, has quite a lot. So we have to um, choose wisely. Um, let's find some absurd stuff. Do you want to read some just because, again, I'm yeah, sorry. Okay, so we have parents first date, we have an octopus, we have a typewriter, um, we have a Soviet flag. Uh, I don't read all, but we have a monster, we have common bear, we have a party boy, a photo daddy, um, an exquisite corpse, a sugar daddy, daddy thing keeps popping up, a groundhog, that sounds interesting. <laughs> we, have, we have a scarecrow, I like that too. Uh, we have cyberpunk, which is a really popular genre in image synthesis. Um, we have depression. Um, what else do we have? We have boomer. Mitte apartment. Um, I don't know if Dali would understand that. We have an ant eater. That's a curious animal, actually. And um, we have a dragon dildo. I don't know what that is exactly. <laughs> we have Prince Andrew, which should also fall under the content moderation, I guess. Uh, an Uber driver. I think we should uh, stop the collection now. So um, maybe um, since I'm doing the talking, I would uh, improvise and ask Sebastian, John, and Marco to each choose one word that they like from the ones that are available. I will choose the photo, Daddy. Okay. I will choose the disco. I wanted to go for the common bear because it keep popping up several times, but let's have something. Um, Marco, you de said depression. Disco. Did I understand it correctly? Marco, Marco, you said disco? No, John said disco. I said photo daddy. Okay, yeah. I didn't know who said what. Okay, so but disco was the word I was missing. Okay, and so Sebastian, what will be the third uh, phrase? To add something more serious, depression. Okay, that's an interesting mix. So we have a photo, we have photo daddy, disco, and depression as the three uh, words uh, that um, you have to bring into a coherent um, context. So you can <laughs> be quite free, I think, about how to interpret what is coherent. 
Could you repeat the words? The words are depression, photo daddy, and disco. Depression, photo daddy, whatever that is, and disco. Okay, um, if different moods of the daddy, of course he's depressed, but in Alexa's case, he's also exhausted. Niels is setting a clear um, time frame or a specific year, which of course influences also the style. Um, in Alexa's case, there's some hope because there's therapy for the depressed daddy. Oh, I forgot to press the music thing. So I give you a little bit more time because it's the final thing. So I switch it on now. Um, No, already also very long from can work. So I'm extra time to go for something that I'm looking for, right? Generate your prompt. All right, so this will be the defining moment of the entire prompt battle online jam. And we have um, an interesting contrast between group image and individual. And um, as always, we ask uh, Magenta first. So Alexa, which one do you think um, should go into the um, vote? The third one. The third one. Okay. Okay, so he's definitely posing for a photo and... Um, <coughs> so I'll pick the last one. Neil is going for the last one who I must say does look quite depressed. Um, <laughs> so now the all defining moment, audience, what do you think? Who should win the prompt battle online jam? Audience, choose your winner. It looks like me is actually winning or at least seven with this very depressed old guy sitting in a disco. He has seen it all. Oh. Congratulations, <laughs> Carstensen is the winner of the first prompt battle online jam. Amazing. I quite like the contrast between the, the fireworks and this guy who really is having none of it. Um, Alexa, congratulations for the silver medal in this uh, prompt battle. You were tough to beat, but in the end, Niels was slightly stronger. And um, thank you so much, both of you, for taking part. And but, uh, yes, Sebastian, do you want to move on? Yeah, it's not over yet because we have to celebrate Niels as the winner and give him the well-deserved prize. For this, Niels, may I ask you to turn on your camera briefly so I can take a screenshot because I need, need it for the ceremony. Perfect. Oh, you need to put the scarf digitally. <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, okay, let's get see. a real one. It's a virtual scarf only. You will get both the virtual and the real one. Okay. <laughs> Let me let me prepare the 
ceremony. Oh, this will be tough. This is a tiny, tiny, tiny image. What? Tiny. Um, okay. One Can second. Move closer. No, no, no. It's 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 <laughs> it's just it's just zoom. It's it's gonna be okay. Um, okay. Sebastian, are you ready? I am ready to share my screen. Okay, so I stop sharing my screen and you have the final words. Um, okay, so we have here, let me move this away. We have here the audience, Niels, which, is, which has been cheering for you all night and you made them a happy crowd. Let's bring you on stage. There he is, Niels, <laughs> winner of the first prompt battle online champ, cheered by the audience. And Niels, as you are a deserved winner, we hand you <laughs> the official, I have to bring it to the front, bring to front the scarf, make it correct size. And there it is, Niels. There he is celebrating. Niels, what are your words to your audience <laughs> celebrating? Yeah, it was a very, very interesting challenge. <laughs> and I think it's 80% luck because it's really unpredictable what uh, the what Dolly is doing with your words. I'm quite amazed. Some pictures were really funny and others uh, said what well, it's really hard to understand how they came together, but it's fun. Yeah, I think, in, yeah. In the, in the first battle that we did, it was also somebody from the outside who won. Uh, so um, how uh, uh, how did you uh, get to this? Like, what um, what made you participate? Well, I tried a little bit, think a little bit in the, along the lines of stock photographs and stock photography search. But uh, it, as I said, it's a bit more luck than anything because um, what what words are really how the words are uh, formed turned into pictures by Dolly, and which ones are really uh, give high, have higher impact as opposed to nearly no impact at all is impossible to predict. Do you have like a question in the background? The Sorry, I didn't understand. There was somebody else talking. Oh, sorry, yeah. I just wanted to ask from my side uh, if you had any advice that you would like to give to the uh, younger Dali artists out there. Mm, not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> my question was if you have like a professional background in producing images. I'm, a, I'm working as a photographer. And uh, so far, yes, uh, there's a little bit of a background. <laughs> um, but my, my main job is uh, reproduction work, uh, photo uh, taking pictures of artwork. That's my main uh, main topic. So nah, not really generative. But I like to have a background in software development. And I looked into a little bit into artificial intelligence quite some time ago already when it was really more a promise than anything um, in a long long time ago i even learned lisp programming which was really the big thing in artificial intelligence and is i think not quite forgotten but not really uh, quite important anymore either but so i could say i have some technical background but it's so aged that it's probably not important didn't help Thank you very much. That was very enlightening to, to hear a little bit about where you're coming from. Uh, very interesting. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, Niels, we're going to send you the scarf. It's it's going to be a real thing translated from the virtual into the real mailed how to you. I, how should I send you my address? Um, I have your email address. I will get in touch again. Okay, excellent. Okay. Where are you based? Like, Where can we expect you to wear the scarf? <laughs> oh, it's winter now, so I will need it quite often. No, but which city are you based? Like where? Where? Oh, in, in Germany. In South, at the moment, in southern Germany, in a small village called Albstadt. It's about mm -hmm. hundred kilometers uh, south of Stuttgart. 
on the Swabian Alp. But I will move to northern Germany, to Rostock, early next year. Okay, so I will wear it on the Baltic side. I hire you for the scarf. That's great. Thank you. Great. Guys, if, if you enjoyed this whole thing, we're going to do uh, another one beginning of next year, beginning of February, in real life at Transmediale, if you want to join. Mm. And maybe, Niels, maybe you're, maybe you're around. And we're also going to have the winner of the first in real life prompt battle defending her title there. Oh, I'd love Hopefully. to do that if I can arrange it. <laughs> okay, so I guess that uh, we should maybe uh, wrap up. Uh, thank you so much uh, to the whole team. Uh, it's been amazing. It's been really great to, 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 to go through the whole battle. And also, thank you to everyone who has joined us uh, tonight. It's been really nice also to have all the uh, conversation going on on the chat, all the comments and uh, the jokes, and also like uh, your participation uh, creating a prompt. Yeah, also thank you so much for my side, and also want to thank the audience in Twitch and in Zoom. I was kind of trying to go between the the two platforms. Um, thanks out to all the participants. This has been a lot of fun and also informative. Thanks to your entertainment uh, short segments. Um, and I think that I also want to say, you know, like I know how hard it was, like also technically all of the things that went down with the test and everything. So um, thanks all for all the efforts that you put in actually adapting an event that I'm sure we will all try to catch in Berlin in uh, uh, IRL in real life and adapting for a screen walk. So we really appreciated that. Um, yeah. Let me just remind everyone that we're back in two weeks. Yeah, uh, we'll have another screen work on November the 30th uh, with Offsite Project. So we uh, invite you all to join us again in, in two weeks. And uh, we are going to also do the, ask you all if you want to unmute now and just uh, to say a goodbye. And uh, so congrats. we can you, hear you your voices. Congrats, uh, Niels, uh, in... As well, yeah, and to congratulate uh, Niels. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Ciao. Bye. 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 Thanks for organizing.